Last video, I played Mildly Sad Satan, which was a control version of Sad Satan, which is a, it's like a creepypasta game without the creepypasta. The game that was made from a creepypasta, except there was no creepypasta to begin with. So let's load that up. This is a Game Jolt recreation, and it's safe. There are many versions of this game, and there is one floating around that has backdoor Trojans and child porn and all this crap in it. You don't want to get that one. There is a Reddit that tells everyone exactly where to find a safe, playable version. And that happens to be this one. So, since I hated the game I played before, I, I don't think this will be much different. The atmosphere will be different, it'll be less trolly, you know. I'm going to judge this based on the atmosphere, I guess. So this, this game is sort of exempt from the uh, criteria at the moment. Mostly because I've already played it, I know it's competent. I'm assuming that the version I played was just this one with uh, images replaced, you know, so. Oh, do I have a body? I do. Oh good, backmasking. Thank you. I do love backmasking. Okay, the map is very familiar, so... There's nothing wrong with it. You haven't broke many laws, have you? None whatsoever. That's, um... There's nothing wrong with it. You haven't broke many laws, have you? Yes. None whatsoever. Nothing wrong with it. Perhaps I should turn the volume down because it's going to get distracting. Tell it's going to be going for a while. This is no creed this time. No, that's the door. This way. Yes, Rolf Harris, surrounded by children. That is uh, mildly disturbing. Oh, not as disturbing as that. What the fuck was that? I. Okay, got the key. Back masking is giving me chills, that's a good sign. When I was younger, I used to, you know that Beatles song, um, what was it called? Revolution 9, that's the one. It was like an experimental track made up of sound clips and, and voiceovers. When you play it backwards, it, you know, that whole, you know, ah, oh, static messages and Beatles songs. Da -da 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 -da. I used to listen to it at night and not focus on that stuff because, you know, it was bullshit. But the sounds back mask used to give me incredible chills and, you know, the stuff you get from reading about spoops, from reading creepypastas that aren't, like, horribly cliche. Oh good, it's a Nick Cole. It's a ten Nick. Sorry, my throat. As soon as I start screaming, I'm screaming or recording video, that was, that was gibberish. Why is the tree there and the little leaves are back here? Turn back. With a turn back from the tree. I'm not seeing any reason to turn back. More gibberish. At least it's not pictures of old men naked. Still mildly irritating. That's not the fault of the developer, of course. That's that's I'm assuming this is what the game is like. Now I'm disoriented. Which way was I going? I'll stop that noise, please. I'm starting to think I'm going backwards. Am I going backwards? I come across the tree, then I know I'm going backwards. Yep, I'm going backwards. Alright. <laughs> okay, we're back to where we were, because the gibberish has started up again. With a smiley face at the end. Alright, we're back in monochrome land with the horrifically short um, view distance. And now I'm actually kind of paranoid that things are going to be popping out of the distance and I won't be able to do anything about it until it's right in front of me. What was that? Might have imagined it. Either way... It, it. If those messages are not doing it, it's the atmosphere that's doing it. 
I think the atmosphere is quite successful. I don't know who that was. Oh, what's that up there? Ah. Uh, okay. Child. Uh, Japanese, I'm assuming he's like some kind of serial killer or something. That looks like a mugshot. That cannibal guy, perhaps? Um, Greek statue is supposed to represent something. That was poorly photoshopped. I liked the 666 on it. It was very, very good font. Much fit. Did I get up to this point when I was playing last? Do not know. This is the problem with society. We do not care. We are a selfish species that... Thanks for the screamer! Okay, um... No way out of this room. Excellent. Would this be more or less effective as an Oculus Rift game? Because it has Oculus Rift support. I just don't know if I'd enjoy it any more if it was. Maybe the atmosphere would be more unsettling, but... Crappy map design. Very dull. There's so many more pictures you could put in this to make it more terrifying that aren't necessarily illegal. What about images from like, you know, Jonestown? It's pretty freaking terrifying. If this game's themes are about child abuse, there were a lot of children there. And there were a lot more audio clips you could have used as well. And I might not necessarily be talking to the person who remade it so much as the person who originally designed it. The game is sorry that it ended. And there are no... nothing else? Credits. Providing resources from the original OHC version of the game, which is not available. Alright, so that was, um, more or less a waste of time, just like the other one was. I guess I just don't like that game. I mean, kudos to the person to remake it. Because, uh, obviously, this version is going to show up before the uh, Trojan version, which is good for anyone who wants to download it and might accidentally come across the Trojan version and screw up their computer and all sorts of stuff. Okay, this next game, I think Vinesource actually played it, back when it was a uh, more of a demo than it is now. It's called Ashiwash. Before I play it, I'm going to read out what it's all about. Okay, so, yes, it was a prototype build that Vinny played, most likely, because the screenshot here... Looks a lot more complete. In Japanese mythology, the Ashiarai Yashiki is a giant disgusting foot that crashes for your roof and demands you clean it, otherwise it will smash your shit. You have three minutes to scour your house with fungal spray, hedge clippers, fly swatter, and ice pick to clean the filthy foot before he smashes your shit. Sounds good. I'm a big nasty foot in your house. Guess what? It's your day to clean me. Get cracking. First thing I notice... It's not a checkboard room anymore. I mean, look. Oh, we can actually get on top of the foot too. It's not easy, but... Alright, so I'm assuming these need to be used on the toenails. Yes, they do. Fly swatter? Yep, fly swat. Get rid of these flies. Easier said than done, apparently. Right, I need to be on top to get those ones. Okay, whose house has a really dark corridor like that? Ooh, that was a bit of stutter. One thing I have to say, I am not keen on the uh, motion blur. I'm gonna turn your house into a pile of dust. 
motion blur is um, one of the main factors of some games that can make me a little nauseated. It also looks really bad on stream. On YouTube and Vidme though, it'll look absolutely fine. Actually, while I'm thinking about that, um, to the VidMe people, do feel, feel free to follow me and uh, check out the Discord. Do you like talking to other content creators? We have a nice little community developing on Discord at the moment. Ding. Oh, I was lucky there was only one of those. Quality! Quality, quality, quality end stream. That was very good. I liked that. I'd give it about a three. I don't see it having a lot of replay value. Maybe if you gave a different... I'm, I'm assuming this is just a small game. It's not meant to be, like, replayable or sold or anything like that. But if you wanted to... If you wanted to sell it, maybe some um, different challenges or something like that. You know, maybe have a randomly generating house. All that, all that kind of stuff. That could, that could easily turn that into a game that I would see on Steam. That I would be okay with seeing on Steam. So the next game, this one's called La Guild de Democles or Democles, Democles Guild. I don't read French. My French accent is absolutely awful. On the game page, it says uh, it's an art game, a no goal game, questioning the relevance of goals, attacks, and enemies in video games. No goals, no enemies, no determinate end. The only way to interact with the NPC is through some kind of violence. But on the other hand, you can never harm them. So who's Democles and what has it got to do with a guild? Ashim Ratchet Production. Okay, so first thing I notice is it's a little poorly optimized. The fuck is that? It's a little stuttery on some directions. Okay, there's a message there. Collect all magic swords. Got one there. These enemies? No, they're running away from me. This is a cat stuck in some kind of uh, what's that? pot. Oh, everything is. Get away from me! I have a shotgun that shoots other shotgun. This is this is Doom Guy's dream. A unicorn up there. Away from me! Alright, so we're looking for swords. Shout if you see a sword. There's one. These trees are bizarre. What is it with unity in a abysmally low draw distance? And being able to climb up walls like this. And that thing that's happening now. Just trees that look like they're moving. Oh, and a sword. Okay. Good idea that I came up there. That's not a grammatically correct sentence. Alright, so we've got a dragon, which is, uh, whoa! Snapping in half. There's a number up there that goes up, so that's, that's obviously the sword counter. Doesn't tell me how many swords there are, just how many I've got. No overall count. Okay, so the... Is there a sword here? I think there is. There was. Get away from me, I don't like horses. Whoa! Nice little boost. I'm actually kind of slow. But I'm not sure if that's like a... What was that thing I saw? Like a strip of light. Get away. Alright, so I've got 12. Still don't see any light. So I think I got everything on that side. Quite a few over here. Been. That light bar wasn't there before. Are they just randomly popping up? No, there's swords. Swords are appearing. 
Because I'm sure I went past there and there was nothing there. Everyone saw it. Our side isn't that bad. Get away from me. Now where'd they go? So the only things that have clipping, I'm currently bouncing off them. That's 25, maybe it's 30. Alright, I'll go to 30 and then that might be too... No, screw this. There's there's more of them appearing over there. That's this is not fair. Oh, I guess. Ah, okay, ah, okay. no determinant end. I guess they're supposed to keep appearing. I gotcha. I'm a bit slow. Alright, so I guess I just end now. Yeah, no determinant end. No shit. It just keeps popping up. I wasted a lot more time on that when I should have. Personal enjoyment. I'm going to go with three if I had more sprinting ability and the fact that I'm, not, I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be enjoyed. So I'm going to assume that's more arty than it is gameplay. Alright, this next one, which may be the last one actually because I'm pretty sure this is longer than it will be. It's called Gender Act, the definitive trans experience. Post-apocalyptic gender punk visual novel about traveling broken lands and kissing, fighting, talking to monsters in an attempt to learn about the forces that broke the world. Gore, body horror, suicide references, disassociation and depersonalization. Yeah, I can go with those. Here we go. Goes in, um, uh, okay, there's a load game. Is it a long one? Skip scene messages, all messages sent. Window screen. Okay. So it's a visual novel. I'm going to have to do a lot of reading. Yay me. Thousands of years ago, a mysterious force ravaged the world. In the region you hail from, it's been all but forgotten, but people say that memory of it still... Memory of it lingers in the floating islands. Unable to shake your curiosity, you leave home and travel to the islands to learn the meaning of gender. The first island you encounter is so desolate that you consider that it might be completely abandoned. Is that it? Ah, oh, if I squint, it kind of looks like something. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, hey there. No offense, but, um, who the heck are you? My name is... Okay, this is me typing. My name is Finn, and my pronouns are... She, her, her, they, them, their. He, him, his. Ooh, can I get experimental with it? Okay. Subject pronoun. Bork. Object pronoun. Bork. Possesses determiner. Borf. Should be Bork is or Bork are. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you, Finn. I'm Phil. They, them. TBH, your name and pronouns don't tell me much, so uh, let me rephrase. What are you doing on my island? I know there's no, no, no trespassing sign, but like... WTF? I'm on a quest to discover the meaning of gender, and I want to... Talk to you, fight you, or kiss you. Those lips, though. Let's go to talk first. I want to talk to you. Alright, I guess that's cool. Can't say I'm much of a talker. I want to talk about gender. What are your thoughts on that? I was kind of hoping you'd leave this conversation, or I don't know. Look, Finn, you already trespassed on my island, and now you want me to tell you something... ...what I know nothing about? What I don't know none nothing? This is really messing with my day, my bud. I just wanted to hang out and maybe play some video games. I gotta make up, that was... It was rude of me. Whoa, holy shit, um... <laughs> no pressure. Oh, hey, don't worry about pressuring me. Oh. I felt pressured, the hole in my chest would have consumed you alive already. Anyway, yeah, I'm good, let's kiss. You make out for like 45 minutes. Several moments you're afraid Phil is going to actually chew your face off. You're not sure if that's on accident or if it's just their unique kissing style. By <laughs> the way, it's kind of hot. <laughs> what am I playing? Well, that was gay. Well, not really, I mean, you're a they and I'm a bork. I want to fight you, I guess it's the only option left. I don't think that's such a good idea. I don't care. You see, I have this problem, and the problem is, I don't care about anything. Who knows what I could do to you? 
You better leave. Now. But I'm trying to learn about gender. Fine, you really want to know about gender? My gender is a flickering neon vacancy sign outside a hotel where the air is so stagnant and the silence is so perfect that you feel like you're drowning in stillness. Been vacated for years, but not even cockroaches will touch the abandoned rooms. Exquisitely hollow and apathetic and dead inside, just like me. I have no response to that. Thanks for not saying anything. I hate it when people say sorry just to fill the silence. Better to be quiet, I think. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. I guess your gender is emptiness? Something like that, yeah. Or maybe I just don't have one. Maybe it was consumed by this hole in my chest. Maybe I was born wrong. Maybe gender isn't even real. Well, I believe it's real. Well, I'm glad you have something to believe in. Oh my god, buddy. Why are you still here? Fuck's sake, just continue on your quest. You can mark my gender down as N.A. Or put, like, an asterisk next to me or something. Go talk to other people who actually have their shit together. I've known people who have talked exactly like this. Yeah, I can give you a real answer, okay? Okay, go. Cool. See ya, Phil. How does it make you feel? You feel even less sure about what gender might be. But you have to keep going, if not for yourself, for them. Who's them? Oh, Phil? Okay. Pretty sure you're friends now, and friendship isn't something you turn your back on. Well, you did make out, I guess. Except for how you just turn your back on Phil. Whatever. You cross the bridge to the neighboring island. Okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. Look at that. Ground below you seems to shudder and shake before settling. Was the sky always this close? Once you reorient yourself, you notice three beings. Do you approach the one with wings of flame, the one that's dripping blood, or the one whose neck is snapped? Well, they're all pretty morbid. I'm going to... I'm gonna go with the neck. Hey, it's a fellow Bork. Can I help you? Yes, hi. Do you know anything about gender? Ask me about gender already? We're hardly acquainted. Fortunately, that may be easily remedied. Tell me, who are you? I'm Finn Bork Bork. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That needs to be on the thumbnail. Pleased to meet you, Finn. I am Phantasmos, of dreams and nightmares, reality, mystery, phases, and unbeing and being again. Or, oh, yeah, that's something I'd say in this situation. Indeed. Now that we've got introductions out of the way, actually, please just call me Fanny. Nobody really calls me by my full name. And I use she, her, and he, him interchangeably. You're inquiring as to my opinions on gender. It is rare that I show myself in full. And if I do, you may be frightened by what is revealed. Yes. Maybe, but I want to learn anyway. Your dedication to your quest is impressive. But still, you must prove yourself. I guess I'll talk to you, fight you. I'll fight, yeah. I want to fight. I'll prove myself through violence. Well. Fuck that up. Please come back. Oh, no, she's back. Or well, he's back. They're back. What will you do now? I want to... Talk to you. Of what shall we speak? Let's talk about gender. Or we no. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's talk about mystery. I will tell you a mystery, the answer to which has never been uncovered in the millennia since its discovery in the archives of ancient long distance civilization, really, by generalization, generations, but its cryptic phrasing perplexing even the most accomplished of scholars. Are you prepared to hear it? Sure, bring it on. I will tell you none the left. Now, I only go down the moonlight and stop at the side of the road. You turn to his girl and say, Baby, I love you very much. What is it, honey? Our car is broken down. The engine's broken. I walk to some fuel. I think that's one of those stories that you, that you hear about in various forms. <laughs> Enigmatic masterpiece of ancient prose. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure I've seen that on those websites that dispel, you know, the truth in things, I forgot what it's called. Aristotle was created by the gods. It seems plausible if one is religiously inclined. Whatever the answer has been lost to the ages. What we do now? I want to, I guess, kiss you. Always old, sometimes new. Uh, never says, sometimes blue. Is it riddle? Never empty, sometimes full, never pushes, always pulls. What am I?
I don't know. Bright and dark, black and white. I'm the shepherd of the night. Fast and slow riders. Thank you. Know, one, think. I know that one. Moon. Ah, the moon. She is quite the muse. She has inspired artists, scientists, poets, and lovers. Would she like to kiss me, Finn? Oh, oh, what's this? I take us in the firmness of the arm. Yeah. Pulls you in like a tight to kiss her, and he smells like leathers and rust. You all have rough on your skin. But his hands and lips are velvety smooth. Fall in love, if only for a moment. When you break away, her eyes are dark, but her his cheeks are wet. That's confusing, referring to both at the same time. To wax to wane, to wax again. Love is both fickle and constant. And so is gender. Will you tell me about your gender? Yes. My gender comes and goes in waves. It is not today what it was yesterday, what it will be tomorrow. Sometimes it fills me to bursting and I become rab rabid, burning and bristling with passion and carnality and need. Sometimes it is empty, letting me feel and think and forget for a moment about this thing. Which I was kind of... Wait. Yes. I wish you luck. Sometimes a question is better left open than closed. Don't you think? Most of what I'm getting from this game is that I'm the giant slut. Is that I am the giant... Is that I'm the biggest slut in the world. Sorry, that was a little bit of a pause there. Do you approach the one with the wings of flame, the one that's dripping blood? I don't know, the one with dripping blood's... Ooh. It's a cube. Hello? Well, I guess I'll be on my way then. You may stay if you wish. Okay. What is it you seek to understand gender? How? Usually, like, we do introductions at some point, if that's okay. No need, your name is Finn, my pronoun- your pronouns are Bork Bork. Well, I mean, yes, but I also need to know who you are. It does not matter. What do I call you? Okay, I guess you don't even care, so I'll call you... Um... Um... There we go. Is that okay? It is of no concern to me. Your quest, however, tell me, what do you, how do you seek to understand gender? I'm going to... How can you kiss a cube? I'm curious about this. I'm going to kiss you. Romance, the physical plane, neither hold any interest for me. You got my hat, you need to win it. Here is of no use for me. Okay. You reach out and pluck the heart from Chuck Polonick's chest. At the moment first starts, it burns white hot in your hand. You don't let it go and eventually it cools. Thank you. It was nothing. No, I am nothing. That was something. You're welcome. And what will you do now? Talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. You seek to understand gender through conversation. Curious. I am mostly void, as such I do not think. Despite all my efforts. Despite, yeah, despite all my efforts, I can't separate myself completely from the physical realm. I discarded my body long ago. The form you see is but a projection. Why would you choose a cube? So I cannot be rid of this. My heart. Again and again I throw it away, and again and again it grows back. It is mostly hollow, but that is where my genital lies. All this talk is giving me a sore throat. So a point of light dwarfed by the cold vacuum which it burns. I wish I did not care about gender. It is so insignificant. Everything is insignificant when compared to nothing. I am endless empty space. Such my gender is something like the stars. See ya. You walk away from Chuck Polonick feeling like you know a bit more about Jen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we're, um, to the last one now. Hi. Burning, burning, everything, all burning, everything, everything. Who are you? I am all burning, everything, feeling, everything, crashing and exploding and never touching, never feeling. Okay, so what's your name? <laughs> Larry. Just Larry. Who are you? I'm Finn Bork. <laughs> I did that to myself. Oh yeah, my pronouns are it's it's. Sorry about that. Why are you here? How are you here? Where are you going? I want to talk to you, fight you, kiss you. Can you do any of those with fire? I want to talk about gender. I am eternally burning, feeling, hurting, spinning, crushing, exploding, burning, 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 into nothing, into nothing, into nothing. My blood is fire and I have never touched another. What or wait what? I always go with what. 
three of us on this island will circle the center. None of us ever getting close to each other. I don't know much about gender, but I think it's something that happens between people. I need to learn the way of being with others to know what's special about myself, or whatever. Get close to me so I can be closer to myself. I'm in the circle and the circle is me. What do you want? Why are you here? I want to... Fight you. That's just what I wanted to hear. You won't hold back and I won't either, yeah? I waited so long to fight and burn and blaze and to see and to see and to be seen. I burn and burn and burn and burn and burn and ring of fire. Everyone wants me so please come fight me, we'll burn together. Let's do this. Oh, you burns brighter than you've seen it yet. Yeah, it's almost too bright to look at. You nearly missed the first fire four balls. I've got an opportunity to run forward and land on what you think is a punch, but the impact burns your hand. You back off. Are you doing okay? Not really, no. Want to talk about it? Okay. You want to know about my gender, right? My gender is something like the sun. It burns through shadows and reveals all. It burns the sky. It gives us warmth. And I observe it. Observe it, it makes me burn brighter. The eternal burning is the most beautiful thing, but... It scorches through those who get close to me. When it rises, the stars disappear and the moon fades. Flames licking my body, flames licking the sky. I am so tired of being alone. I'm sorry. Thanks for listening. There's no easy solution, but talking about helped, I guess. I'll let you get back to your quest now. Burn bright out there for me. Okay. I didn't get to make out with him. Am I growing as a person? As you sit on the edge of the island, you feel uncertain about the path forward. It's been a long journey, and from where you're looking, it'll be a longer one yet before you can rest. You stand up and brush the dust off your body. With no more bridges, there's only one way forward. You unfurl your wings and take a running start and leap. This is the end of the Gen Direct demo. Definitely throws the whole gender thing into different light, I guess. Holy crap, I've been recording for ages, so, um... <laughs>